Howdy folks, this is Parker Peters, and today we are playing a brand new game called Little Nightmares. Hey Parker, I, I saw that you uploaded a Let's Play of that yesterday. What happened? You're right, you're damn skippy, but I got an overwhelmingly negative response to that Let's Play, so uh, rather than just chalk it up as a loss, I decided that we would just... Uh, you know, start over again. <laughs> Why not? The last one was a commentary free let's play. I gave some thoughts before and after the uh, gameplay footage, but it seems like that uh, format just, you know, didn't stick. I guess you, uh, I guess you guys like me just too much. And um, I appreciate that if that is the reason, but if not, I am very sorry that this is the worst uh, let's play series you've ever seen. But you know what? This is my channel, so, and this game is awesome, so we're going to play through it. So, uh, let's get right into it. Little Nightmares, part one. Let's go. Whew. This game has, uh, has a lot of loading screens, and they take, uh, forever. I think that is the worst part of this game so far, is that the, the loading screens are long, thick, and intrusive. Very spooky intro, uh, very sort of ambient, uh, just an ambient spookiness is all about this game. Here we can see our little friend Six. This is Six, the main protagonist of Little Nightmares. She is a little girl that wears a trench coat. That's right, this is a trench coat game. Hope you like trench coat games. I, I love trench coat games. Or rather, that's a raincoat, isn't it? Yeah, raincoat. Not a trench coat. She's not a little girl wearing a trench coat. That's not... This isn't that type of game. Alright, fella. This was uh, developed by Tarsier Studios, who is one of the studios that is responsible for the Little Big Planet series, not Media Molecule, but uh, Tarsier has worked on quite a few games in the Little Big Planet series. Namely, my favorite entry, uh, Little Big Planet Vita, is a Tarsier game. And this game has quite a similar atmosphere to the story mode of Little Big Planet Vita, and as well as many of the community levels. I don't know if you knew this, if you're a Little Big Planet fan or not, but a uh, little big planet just chock full of horror horror levels it's uh... it's quite interesting anyways i'll shut up for a minute and let you check this game out i don't know what this doll is i've seen quite a few of them in the game uh, in the first level or two, but there she is. She looks kind of like that lady from the opening cinematic, doesn't she? I don't know. <gasps> oh geez, something happened. I don't know what that was. I have never done that before. Quite interesting. Oh, hey, there's a guy up there. Hi. Hey, guy. Hello. Hello. He must be napping. He'll be fine. 
He'll be fine. He's just napping. See another one of those little, uh, I don't know what they are, they look like little clansmen to me. Little, uh, Ku Klux Klan guys. I don't know, with their little white, white pointy hats. Maybe like some sort of pyramid head type of a guy, maybe a mushroom. I'm not sure what these guys are. But if you manage to pick one up, he will start following you places. Which I haven't found a use for yet, but um, I'm sure that there is some use for that later in the game. He won't follow me through this hole. I like that pretty much everything in this game, if it looks like you can climb it, you probably can. Um, kind of taking cues from Little Big Planet there as well. The uh, the controls of this game are also very similar to Little Big Planet. Um, the right trigger being your primary button for grabbing things, just like in Little Big Planet. I don't know. Maybe I'm finding. Uh, finding similarities to Little Big Planet just because it was the same studio, but you can't help but feel like there are similarities and that they are because of that. I mean, if, if there's that many similarities and it's the same studio, it must be, right? Anyway, <laughs> talking about Little Big Planet sidetracking, you saw those, those leeches back there. Leeches are one of the most unnerving things that I can think of. They're creepy. They're uh, slimy, and then they drink all your blood because they're assholes. Jesus. Oh, and there's even more of them. Jesus Christ. It's a little gruesome. The deaths in this game kind of remind me of the deaths in Tomb Raider, or I guess, I guess uh, Limbo would probably be a closer equivalent since this is a game extremely similar to Limbo. But just how they're sort of overly graphic uh, shock value deaths. It's not just like your. It's not just like six drops to the ground dead, she's uh, strangled by leeches or burned alive, etc. Platforming in this game is fantastic. It uh, reminds me of some early platformers, uh, early 3D platformers, which uh, we're kind of seeing a revival of with ukulele and the like. Um, it's just nice to see a game like this with a focus on gameplay, platforming, and puzzles rather than just being sort of a walking simulator, you know? There's a rather spooky man up there. 
It's always good in a horror game to have a, a, a rather spooky man or two. Um, you know, it really pads out the uh, the walking around dark corridors to have uh, some sort of scary thing in your horror game. I know a lot of uh, modern horror games are just sort of walking around dark corridors, but we like our horror games to uh, include a rather spooky man here and there. This message was brought to you by Rather Spooky Man uh, 2020 uh, for president. Toilet paper. Let's move this door out of the way. Oh, and it's a basic switch puzzle. Pull the switch, make the door less, uh, less murderous. Let's run out here. And we are in a playroom, a children's playroom, complete with swings. Yeah, boy. Can't, uh, can't jump between the two swings, though, however. And another electrical door. So, what we need to do is head back and uh, solve this little puzzle. I'm, uh, I like how I'm just pretending like I haven't played this... Uh, played this level through. Obviously, I did a Let's Play of it already, so... Yeah, this is the teeter-totter puzzle, basically, from Half-Life 2. And yes, it is from Half-Life 2. Half-Life 2, of course, being the uh, progenitor of teeter-totters, seesaws, um, in the world. That, that uh, playground staple didn't exist until Half-Life 2 came around. I don't know if you knew that or not. When I first played that uh, Seesaw teeter-totter puzzle in Half-Life 2, that's the first one where you're trying to escape City 17, um, it kind of blew my mind where you just had to uh, had to stack barrels on one side of a teeter-totter so that you could uh, climb up the other side. That was the first time I had really noticed physics puzzles in a game, and uh, it was just so intuitive that it kind of blew my mind a little bit. And whenever I see a seesaw, teeter-totter, whatever you want to call it, puzzle in a game, it always just reminds me of Half-Life 2. Oh, shit. <laughs> I forgot about that eye, and I died horribly. Um, this Let's Play brought to you by the National Endowment for Dying Horribly. I like how you can hear her, uh, her jacket rubbing up against itself when you run. That's a nice little... This game's got really, really nice audio design. That eye, for example, that sound is terrifying. I'm not sure if these lanterns are save points or what, but I'm lighting all of the ones that I find because they seem like they might be uh, save points. Ooh, I know where another one of those mother dolls is, or whatever, whatever they are. It looks like a mother or a, or a woman of some kind. I don't know. She just strikes me as motherly. I don't know. What about you guys? You think this is a mother? I don't know. Haven't haven't finished the game. Don't know exactly who this character is. Looks like the lady from the opening cinematic. But yeah, spooky.
if you don't know, this game originally was announced by Tarsier Studios as being titled Hunger. The game was going to be called Hunger. So, six periodically. I, I've played through two levels of this game, and six gets hungry and has to eat food. So, I think that that might be some sort of story element to the game. Uh, there previous title, Hunger, maybe it was a little bit of a tell. Not sure. But eat up. So that we may continue the game. The, uh, the hit detection in this game is not not fantastic 100% of the time. Some of the enemies have really big, really, really big hitboxes. Um, spoiler warning, I have uh, played a little bit more of this game than I'm showing you. I love how I'm just uh, sort of ashamed that I've, <laughs> that I've played this before uh, doing this Let's Play. Or at least I've played a little bit of it. I've played the first two levels. But yeah, the hit detection, not fantastic 100% of the time. Other times, just spot on, so. Oh, shit. And we died horribly. Hashtag, uh, died horribly. Hey, it's our friend the news. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, I hope that you enjoy this Let's Play. This game is a its a really fun game. This is honestly one of the scariest games that I have played in years. And I love me some horror games. I love survival horror. Come on, get up there. There we go. I, uh, I love me some survival horror. I love me just horror games in general. And uh, I really, 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 really 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 like this game and so I hope that you enjoy this let's play of it for no other reason than I want to get lots of comments and want to talk to you uh, guys about the game I don't delete videos very often but um, getting less than five views in the first day uh, I cannot abide that and so I will God, nope, fell to a horrible death. I uh, died horribly once again. Um, this game should be called Dying Horribly, a uh, raincoat's guide to love. Hey, it's our friend the noose one more time. I hope I'm not being too much of a uh, nuisance. Uh, stopping by and saying hi so many times, Mr. News. That was horrible. That was awful. I'm sorry. I apologize for any uh, forced humor. The reason that I did this as a um, commentary-free Let's Play the first time is I feel that it is a fantastic and atmospheric game. 
and that it is best served by not having my yapping face in the background the whole time. But, <laughs> you know what? This is my channel, and I say what goes, and I decided that, hey, maybe it would be fun to talk over a horror game once in a while. Who knows? Okay, one more time. There we go. How about I approach it from the other side this time? Oh, got him. Perfect. Uh, this is going to be a no, uh, uh, zero deaths uh, let's play. As you can see, I have died a total of zero times so far, so... Hitting the remainder of the let's play with zero deaths should not be all that difficult. Now, here is something that I would like to talk about and that I find deeply concerning in this game, is the fact that, oh, we can open up two drawers of this filing cabinet. That is just unsafe, people. If you're going to invest your hard-earned money in a filing cabinet, buy a filing cabinet which locks when one of the drawers is open. You don't want that thing tipping over, scattering your files all over the place. This message has been brought to you by the uh, National Council of Filing Cabinets and Filing Cabinet Accessories. Hey, it's our friend the noose. Um, hope it's hope it doesn't make me too much of a uh, <laughs> nuisance to ask for a ride down. Woo! I know I swore that I would stop with the uh, forced jokes, or that I would at least use them in moderation. So I am deeply, deeply sorry that I used the same joke two times in a row. Um, please forgive me. Please, uh, don't unsubscribe from my channel. Oh, shit, it's more leeches. Um, leeches freak me out. I hate them. They are creepy. What, uh, purpose does a leech serve, like, when you think about it? Like, you know, bees are super duper important for, like, pollinating shit. Um. What purpose is it that a leech has in this world? Why do we need leeches? What for? What for? What purpose? And there you have it. That is Little Nightmares Part 1. Uh, that is the first chapter of the game. If you enjoy this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.